In case you weren't with us yesterday, I want you to see and hear what Marcus Spears said about what Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich, the head coach and offensive coordinator in Tampa, absolutely cannot do as they are designing an offense for Brady. I wish I had three cameras in here so I could say, so I could tell one of the cameras to zoom in on me. If Bruce Arians and Byron Leftwich allow Tom Brady to get hit because they call him plays downfield and want him to hold the ball to throw it, that's a fireball fence, G, and they should damn well not do it. Mike Tannenbaum is going to join the party here this morning as well. Mr. T, what did you think of what Marcus said yesterday? I think he's exactly right. When you look at historically what Bruce Arians has done, his quarterbacks get hit. And over the course of his career, Tom Brady averages about 3.6 times a game. So if you look at what happened with last season and how many times that Jameis Winston's gotten hit, that's about 50 more times approximately over the course of the season that Tom Brady would get hit. And I'm telling you, as a quarterback in his 40s, that's not going to happen. They're going to either have to change the protections or Tom Brady's going to get hurt. He's not going to get hit 50 more times this year compared to what happened a year ago. So I agree with Marcus Spears. They're going to have to tweak that offense a little bit so Tom Brady could be successful and, more importantly, Greeny, survive the season. Those were the numbers that you were referring to, and they really do tell the story. Bruce Arians' quarterbacks get hit because they throw the ball down the field, which means they're holding onto the ball longer. And if there's one thing that all those guys had in common, in fact, Kalen, if we can put that graphic up there again, it's worth pointing out again, the quarterbacks that Arians has had, both as a head coach and as a play-calling offensive coordinator, there are a lot of things they have in common. They're all big, right? They're all big, strong guys. Jameis Winston, Carson Palmer, Luck, Roethlisberger, all big guys who you figure can take a little bit more uh, of a pounding, if you will. Dominique, Brady is, is not big like those guys are, and he'll be 43 years old. So clearly, those numbers you're seeing on your screen cannot apply to Tom Brady this season. Is that right? Absolutely. I think that um, their number one goal this season should be to keep Tom Brady upright. Their, their number one goal is second to scoring touchdowns on offense. Like, if they can't keep him up, then they're going to be in trouble for the long haul because late in the season and into the playoffs is when you're going to need him healthy. But I do think it's interesting that the players that he has there, the receivers that he has there, are very different from the receivers and playmakers that he has had in New England over the long haul. I think Bill Belichick has built a team on market inefficiencies, and that's finding small slot receivers that are shifty and can get open. That's where Bill uh, Belichick has found an opportunity to build the team. That's not how this team is built. Evans and Godwin are not those guys. Those are big play guys who it does require you to hold the ball for a little bit longer to get them uh, an opportunity to get deep into the defense where they are most effective. So it's going to be interesting making these pieces fit together because I don't think they fit together as clearly as clearly as we all think they do. No, maybe not those guys. But, you know, Mike T, you know who you have your eye on are those three tight ends. They've got Howard, they've got Brait, and, of course, a fellow named Gronk. That, that is a little more in keeping, working the middle of the field with what we've seen from Tom Brady. Yeah, absolutely, Greeny. And again, I have 20 years of scar tissue trying to defend Brady and Gronk for a lot of those years between the Jets and the Dolphins. And nothing is more frustrating when you say on third down in the red zone, we're going to double Gronk, and he still catches the ball. So that will be his safety outlet. And again, Tom Brady's not going to get hit all the times that Jameis Winston did. And I think you're right. Gronkowski could be a quick solution to that. And also, let's remember, they did draft Tristan Wirfs in the first round to try to address that offensive line in Tampa Bay. And they also have a sneaky good defense. So, so that, that could be the way they try and build the team. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.